Oh no, the size doesn't matter. What a thrill. Damn, it has such a kick. Sooner or later, everyone has to face the eternal question. What is better? To order food for 500 rubles and spend 100 rubles on its delivery or food for 600 rubles with free delivery? Do you want to save on food or on delivery? And if the food is more expensive, is it better than the cheaper one? Yevgeny Zdarov, that is I, had to ask himself a similar question while preparing a new episode of the show Zdarov with Wine. I don't know how you solve this, but I will be very glad to know. Share your opinion in the comments and in the meantime, I will formulate mine. I believe that modern life puts us in this situation of a pseudo choice. The sale margin is huge anyway. The courier will also receive wages in any case. So your only choice is what to purchase. You just decide what you need and buy, even if you have to pay extra somewhere. Fortune will certainly appreciate your dedication and reward you for it. I immediately decided that for the most complete coverage of French winemaking, I needed a bottle of Sautin, an absolutely unique world-famous white wine from Bordeaux. I felt its uniqueness already when simply searching for the bottle. I searched all retail stores, all online stores, I searched all possible stores and I did not find anything in the price range that I expected. But if Zdarov needs Saturn, Zdarov buys Saturn and Zdarov bought Saturn. This is Saturn. Yes, it only contains 375 millimeters and it costs 6,290 rubles plus delivery. But Zdarov works the talk and Fortune appreciated it. Fortune found long forgotten 5% discount and granted free delivery. Or was it the sales manager? Thanks anyway. So here is a life hack from Yevgeny Nizdarov. Do you want to save more on wine? Just pick the most expensive bottle available. Take my word for it, you will save a lot more than on a cheap one. And yet, how does this pricing work? As I said, Satin is a unique thing, and not only because you can hardly find it. In fact, it works the other way around. You can hardly find it precisely because it is unique. The name of the wine comes from the Satin community, where it was invented. Our baby here was born there in the historical homeland of all Satins. It was produced at the Chateau Rizek Winery, and this is one of the four estates owned by Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, the official royal supplier since the mid 18th century. In addition, Chateau Lafitte Rothschild belongs to the category of Premier Grand Cru Classe, that is, the very best French wines. In other words, this bottle is very rare and very cool. But this is still more a consequence than a cause. A reasonable question arises. What is the problem with producing Satin somewhere else? The fact is that the difference between Satin and ordinary wines is as striking as between Roque 4 and a Russian cheese. I mean, what differs them is mold. Yes, you heard right. Satin is made from moldy grapes. 
Of course, both the grapes and the mold should not be just any, but very specific. Botrytis grey mold and Semillon Sauvignon Blanc and Muscatel grapes. All varieties react differently to the mold and give the blend different nuances. So, each manufacturer combines them in their own way, even accounting for the characteristics of the crop. My 2015 bottle says that we have 93% Semillon, 5% Sauvignon Blanc and 2% Moscatel. Semillon is traditionally used as the base of a blend because it is most influenced by Botrytis. This fungus is an extremely capricious creature. Too much moisture and it degenerates into ordinary rot and kills the crop. Too little moisture and it does not develop at all. However, the Saturn region is located in a unique area where the rapid and cold Siron flows into the warm and full blowing Garonne. The combination of temperatures leads to the formation of thick morning fogs, which quickly dissipate in the hot southern sun. This produces a kind of humidity swing and the only microclimate that completely suits Botrytis. The fungus penetrates under the skin of the grapes and dehydrates it from the inside, making it look like raisins. Because of this, the concentration of various substances and the juice sharply increases, including fructose, the excess of which determines the sweetness of satin. It says here that the alcohol by volume is 14%. This is because the fermentation process was stopped in time and the unfermented fructose provided 148 grams of sugar per liter and if they had not stopped, there would have been 20 or even 22% alcohol content and the wine would have been dry and terribly strong and now it's sweet, or at least it should be. Let's see if this really is. I hope that I won't break it. Of course, I understand that the glass in this miniature bottle is as good as in any large bottle, but it still feels very fragile. I feel like Gulliver, who was offered a drink by the Lilliputians, but for some reason they did not provide their glasses, only a bottle. Well, okay. Size does not matter. Let's open it. Oh no, size doesn't matter. Oh, it creaks. It's a thrill, a damn kick. The color is bright golden, almost amber. This is the shade of the evening sun when it's still high enough not to start turning red but already low enough to dazzle and fill everything with warm gold. A wonderful color. And the aroma is quite good too. Sorry for the stingy choice of words. It would be better to say mind-blowing, but it seemed to me that it was too much. Although it really blows your mind with a honey wave, and when you look a little deeper, it turns out it is not even honey. I mean, the aroma of honey is definitely present, but I also feel ripe peaches and baked pears and candied apricots and ginger. Woody and vanilla notes are also very clearly distinguished. It looks like an impressionist's canvas. First, you grasp the whole image 
and then you notice individual strokes. However, the bouquet does not fall apart but exists simultaneously, both as a set of nuances and as an integral picture. What do you think? How many milliliters is one sip of an adult? Around 20? Let's make it 20. And the volume of the bottle is 375. That is, I have about 19 sips total. Only 19 sips of wine. That is awful. It's better not to think about it and just try it. And God forbid I won't finish it all the first time. Yes, it's been a while since I last tried sweet wine. This adds and makes the sensation even more vivid, very sweet but not sugary, thanks to rather high acidity which balances the sugar and makes it more delicate. The wine tastes like peaches and pears, candied fruits, prunes and vanilla, full body with an enveloping structure a long, rich aftertaste with notes of apricot and prunes. And I only have 18 sips left. No, I just cannot stop thinking about it. Kings hardly had to worry about how little satin was on the earth, and they surely were not supplied wine as young as my six-year-old. Satin has a strong storage potential of about 30 to 50 years. Can you imagine what it will become when it matures? The acidity will soften, aromatic nuances will be added, and the wine will be harmony itself. A real royal drink. Not that now it's for commoners, of course, but it's probably for... Dukes. Although the Dukes, in my opinion, also should not count their sips. On the other hand, the awareness of exclusivity and sophistication is also a kind of pleasure. But to feel it deeply, a special skill is required, which I have not yet fully mastered. What about you? Do you know how to enjoy a single sip, knowing that it is the first and the last one? Or do you follow my bad example and prefer affordability to refinement? Please comment. By the way, do not think that if you are a duke, then your body, by definition, will reject everything that has not managed to earn a grandiose reputation. Because if you are a duke, you can create that reputation. For example, for Satin and for the whole of Birdo, we should thank Marshal Duc de Richelieu, the great nephew of that same Richelieu from the Three Musketeers. Legend has it that in 1755, Richelieu consulted the doctor from Bordeaux before a long trip to Guyenne region, which he had been appointed to govern. The doctor happened to be a good one and instead of dubious tinctures, recommended Marshal Chateau Lafitte wine. Richelieu accepted the prescription and unquestioningly had been following the recommendation for several years. When he returned to Paris, Louis XV told him, Marshal Richelieu, how come now that you look 25 years younger than before the trip to Guyenne? To which Richelieu replied that he had found the elixir of youth. That is how Chateau Lafitte became the royal wine. There is, however, another version. I came across it in the Dictionary of Cuisine by Alexander Dumas. Yes, yes, the same one who penned The Three Musketeers and The Count of Monte Cristo. He was also a good cook. 
Dumas believes that the dialogue between Louis XV and Richelieu was not so full of praise. The king was surprised that a certain Bordeaux nobleman does not drink any wine in Paris other than that what he brought himself, and the marshal called the satire wines fit for drinking and also like beer, devoid of nobility, but possessing a certain mystery. And you know what? I object. Satin is not devoid of nobility, absolutely not like beer and absolutely not fit for drinking. It is for tasting only. Wines are basically meant to be tasted and if common people do not understand this, you need to immediately start producing only miniature bottles instead of standard ones. Rise the prices, destroy beer stocks, introduce the unified state exam in urology. Where's my secretary with decrees to sign? Oh, I don't have a secretary. No secretary, no decrees, no certain. And what should I do now? I've said everything and drank everything. All that remains is to go to bed. Is that so? Oh well, then I am going to sleep. Oh, look, 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 look. There are some more drops of satin. I am going to lick them as a kitten. Oh, damn, what a thrill. More. It is very tasty and very sad because it is not enough. Let's start the morning with some good news. I cancel all my decrees from yesterday and not because I like to drink more and prefer cheaper wine, although this is true too. But the main reason is that if there are no ordinary everyday wines, the very mystery that Richelle attributed to Satin will disappear. And that's the whole point. I paid 6,000 not for 375 milliliters of wine, but for a mystery. And I don't even like sweet wines. More precisely, I love any wine, but after sweet ones, I have a terrible headache usually from the added sugar, most likely. But in Satin, everything is natural and there was not too much of it anyway. One way or another, there are zero reasons for a hangover and there are a lot of memories. So it can be a great gift, provided that the recipient is sophisticated enough in wines to understand what he was presented with. Also, Satin is suitable for special events, the most rare and important ones. This is exactly the kind of wine that you can buy when a child is born, put it in the cabinet and then open it for prom and it will only get better. When it comes to the table, satin goes well with nothing. Not that it does not go well with anything. I'm only saying that I personally would not combine it with anything. It is good as it is. But if you still want to serve something, I would recommend either desserts and fruits to continue sweet harmony or conversely salty snacks. Hard cheeses with noble mold are perfect. It's funny, of course, to combine moldy cheeses with moldy wine, but the flavor combination is really great. I hope I get to taste a real mature satin sometime. Perhaps I'll start saving for a bottle, I mean a little bottle. If you happen to taste mature satin earlier than me, then be sure to share your impressions. I'm very interested. In the meantime, share your thoughts and feelings about today's episode in the comments. Like the video, tell your friends about it and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to know where to buy satin or any other wine, 
contact me directly via WhatsApp. I think in the next episode we will taste something cheaper. Although I have not yet figured out what but cheaper. To find out what exactly, come back to Zdarov with Wine in exactly one week. Enjoy your weekend everyone and have some good wine. Bye. Do not come to the queen and tell her that she looks splendidly today. I am aware.